let me show you a lifetime deal that's going to be a game changer for your media files. It's called Media Place, and this is going to be a review of what I like and dislike about it. So let's go check it out right now. What's up, everyone? Like I said, this is Media Place, and it's on a lifetime deal right now. It's only $39, and it gets you access to five devices for that price. So if you ask me, that's a really low price to pay for what you're going to get. Now with this platform, it's going to make everything super easy for your images, videos, GIFs, audios, etc. And you're going to be able to organize them and transform them into different types of extensions if you need that. In my case, I use that a lot when I grab images that are WebP. I turn them into PNG or JPG because other platforms don't accept that type of images, but it's super easy to use this. Plus it has an AI background removal that's unlimited. Now it's not the fanciest background removal, but it does its job. Now for the lifetime deal, like I said, you're going to get access to all of this. You're going to get to use this on five devices and you get unlimited background removal with AI. So it's a really great deal for what you're going to pay. Now you might think I'm hyping this, but not because what you're going to get is actually a lot. So this is Media Place. I have it installed already. And one of the things that is the main focus of Media Place is actually organizing. You can create folders. You can tag these, you can start these, you can view the colors, main colors, and you have a powerful search filter for this. So basically you can do filtering, you can folder, you can do a lot of things. But for example, if I grab this image, it's an SVG and I can go ahead and rate it with four star, for example, so I can filter this out later on. I can tag it, I can note it, and then I can work with this image. So let me go ahead and double click on it. And then I have the settings for this. So here's the SVG image. Maybe I don't have an SVG editor. Well, no problem. Let's go ahead and turn it as a PNG, a WebP or JPG. Just like that, I'll go ahead and save it here, overwrite it if I wanna just overwrite or export it to another file. If I need to change colors for this SVG, I can do it from here. So it's pretty neat that we have these options to do it from here. I can do the remove or well, add background to this. I can resize it or I can just go ahead and exit or view the information. Just from here okay now like i said i use this for when i grab webp images from the web and i need to turn them into a png because basically um, i need it for something else and it's super easy to do it okay so for this image that i've just selected which is a webp image i can go ahead and edit this by adding elements so basic elements not a not a whole editor transformation flip it i can add background i can do a background removal let me go ahead and select it and boom, it removed the background. Like I said, it's not the fanciest background, but it works fine if, if it's an image that is more realistic image, not like this one that's like a digital image, okay? Then you can draw, you can erase, you can blur areas, you can save as. So again, you can JPG, PNG, WebP super easily. You can compress it from here by saving it in a different quality. You can normalize colors. You got filters, which I never use, and I don't know someone who actually uses filters, but they're available, okay? And that's for the exporting. And then you can upscale also. So if you need to upscale and improve the quality, you can do it with this, with upscale with AI. This is a really great option because I've seen images that really suck and it's gonna upscale it and make it look even better, more crisp with this. And that's included in the lifetime deal. Now, there's a lot of more things that you can do with this, okay? So let's go back, let's go into the exit. You can import the images, files, media, audios, etc. manually, or we can do a folder watch. So any image file that's added into the folder, it's going to add it automatically. You got actions. So if you want to do actions like export and zip, MPP, files, etc. presets, rename actions, add tags, add ratings, etc. all from here, that is possible. Then we have your free media. So it's connected to a free media file. Let me show you which one it's connected to. So it's connected to image bank with five million images, but doesn't say which provider it is. But you get access to this. You can use a search feature. You got images, video, GIFs, and you get access to use this for personal or business use. This GIF is powered by Giphy and you got stickers also. Then there's a browser feature. That means that I can input a link right here. So it's kind of like a browser and it's going to automatically detect all the images, videos and SVGs from here. So, for example, I'm going to view the images. Here they are. I can go ahead and save it from here or I can drag it somewhere else. The videos in this particular website, there you go, the SVGs, and I can download it from here. Let's go back. Okay, here's the AppSumo deal right here. Again, you got all the images, videos, 
no videos in this one and SVG from here. So it's kind of like a browser inside of here with the images available, ready to grab super easily. So it's a time saver. Then there's a generate feature that lets you generate, for example, in this case, you can generate a blob and kind of do the complexity here, change it up a bit. Um, not something I would use, not much of a fan here. If they make this better, that might be interesting for us, like doing graphs or something more interesting that we can use. Not something so basic like this. So not something I like. And then you have slides. You can create a slide with the images that you import here. So for example, let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to select these two, confirm selection. Let me click play, I'm going to edit the slide, edit mode. Here we go. Let's go ahead and click play. Here's the image. You can add some text here. Next slide, it's sort of kind of basic. And you can export this in a GIF or MP4 or MOV move. And you can do the frame rate, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, the size, full HD, 4K, or make it smaller, background, music, captions, etc. Um, not the fanciest thing that um something I would use, but it, it's available there. And the good thing about this is that they are going the right direction. So that means that this could be way better if they improve these kind of features like the generate and the slides. But in terms of organization, filtering, exporting the images, working with the images, I think it's fantastic. So if you want to check this out, especially for SVGs, let me show you that really quickly. The SVGs, if you don't have an SVG editor, you can go ahead and edit from here, change the colors you can do export for PNG. You can add a background to it if you like. You can resize it, export in WebP or JPG with the SVG. So a lot of things go into this. So if you're asking me this 39 bucks that you're going to pay to get access to all those tools, is definitely worth it. Now, basically, I showed you half of the features that Media Place has. It has way more. And these guys from launch, they've been updating every two weeks. So they are really pushing this out. They want to make this a really great product. So it's definitely worth checking it out. And I do recommend that you buy it. And then there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, you test it out, it's not something that you like or need go ahead and refund it. And the link for this deal will be in the description, which is an affiliate link. So if you buy through my link, it helps me out with a small commission and it's not going to cost you a single cent more. And that's a wrap.